Hi. So when we talk about negative thoughts, you might be thinking right now that you know, you're an undeserving shitbag. Your twin flame would never want to be with an undeserving shitbag. Right? So how often do you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts? And what is occurring when you are thinking these negative thoughts? Right? Does your, does your whole body, you know, your whole body just like tenses up? Because you can feel that, feel that negativity start to come in and you're doing everything that you can to combat against it. And it's really placing uh, negativity on your negative thoughts. You're placing negative judgment on your already negative thoughts. It's like double negativity. So here you have this negative thought and you put this negative judgment on it. Like, I, I can't be having this negative negative thought. Like this is, this is a mistake. This this can't be. I don't want anything to do with this. I gotta get I gotta get out of here. You know, and you you do anything you can to try and like stuff this negative thought down or avoid it altogether, or just you know do anything that you can to to start you know changing this negative thought transforming it into something that it isn't right you're like this is like defcon 5 you know because you know that in the past when the negative thought creeps in and you don't do something immediately that that negative thought can snowball into just an avalanche of negative thoughts and avalanche of negative thoughts snowballs into, you know, just turning all the lights off and, and sitting in the corner with a blanket and crying for the next three days. Like that has, that has the potential to occur again. And this, this negativity, all the negativity that's, that you assign to that one little negative thought can create this enormous black hole to get out of. And if you trace these negative thoughts back to their source, like why are they there? What is it that they're showing you? And you can, you can, a lot of these things can be traced back to, you know, when you were a child and it's a trauma. And a trauma doesn't have to be as dramatic as a 10 car pileup or some you know, huge travesty that happened in your life. A trauma could be witnessing your parents argue. You know, at a young age, at an, impress at an impressionable age, you make a judgment based on some, ar you know, an, an argument that you've seen your parents have or uh, several arguments that you've seen uh, adults have that you are around. And you make this judgment and it becomes this negative belief, it becomes this limit, limitation that you've kind of placed on uh, life. And you took on this, you know, critical or limiting viewpoint on how to uh, maneuver your way through what is occurring. And so... What you should really be asking yourself, instead of um, pushing that, pushing more negativity on top of what is something that's coming up as negative, is to just ask yourself, what's the reason for this? What's the reason for this thought that's coming up right now? Why am I having this thought? We'll trace it back to, uh, to how, however far it goes back and understand 
that it could be just something as, as just as simple as, you know, someone in your life that, you know, put limiting beliefs on you or en encouraged or put limitations on you. So, like, look at these things from a positive standpoint. And I'm not saying to, like, you know, get your, get your like, notebook out and do, like, positive affirmations until these things vanish. Because that's just another way to, like, suppress what it is that you're uh, feeling. What I'm saying is to uh, look at this from the standpoint that, like, this, this negative thought has come up. And what am I going to learn from it? What is it showing me? You know, it's there for a reason. It came up for a reason. What is it showing me? What can I learn from this to move on from it? How, how am I going to heal this by, you know, confronting what this is? You know, staring it dead in the face and saying, you know, what, what, what is this? Why is this? Why is this here? Allow yourself to ask some questions of yourself, right? And allow yourself to provide those answers because pushing things away or suppressing them or, you know, avoiding them altogether, it's not getting the job done. You know, you might avoid some, some uh, bad feelings, but it's not getting the job done. You want to remove those bad feelings. So ask yourself some questions. Don't approach your negative thoughts with more negativity. Right? And uh, you know, go down to this description box down below and click on the links to work with me. Uh, check out my website. Uh, there's a lot of great content on there that will really help you out. And I'll see you all next time.